Hello guys, welcome to another Minecraft video by Smurf Masher. Today we're building an ATAT. -AT. Now this is going to be a let's build, so it's not really going to be a tutorial. What I've done is I've loosely followed this uh, schematic that you see on the screen here, and this is what I've come up with so far. Now, I didn't show the earlier build stages because I wasn't sure this was actually going to come out right, and as soon as it started looking fairly decent, I thought, yeah, okay, let's make this into a video. Now, you can see the general structure. The actual body itself is quite square. Um, there's only a few layers of uh, detail on the left hand side of it. Most of it's cosmetic. The key thing is to get the actual structural elements correct, like for instance, this tube that goes down the center, and the springs or the, um, the support suspension that holds up the legs that you can see just on the right hand side. And obviously the neck's quite important. That is essentially just uh, five different circles with an indented circle inside each one to create that kind of corded neck. Um, I'm not going to be talking an awful lot on this video. I'm going to let the build speak for itself and it's quite a long build. This is about three hours so I've had to speed it up massively and I doubt it's going to be uh, slow enough at any stage for you to really keep up. But hopefully this will give you some inspiration and it will also give you a general gist of the way that you do go about building it and the stages that are required. As you're watching this, you'll notice I keep on going back and looking from a distance. What I'm doing at that stage is I'm checking the schematic that I've got, I found online, and I'm just checking the silhouette to see if it's the right shape. I'm just doing this in 2D at the moment, and then the 3D will come later. And uh, when I'm finally happy with the shape, then I stop cutting and changing the shape of it.
So you've seen I've finished the left hand side suspension strut and now what I'm doing is I'm building the top part of the leg. Now there's two key parts to the leg. Um, there's the larger cog at the top which is the major pivot point then there's the knee point as well which I've done with different size circles and as you get down to the foot the foot is obviously very vital as well and that's uh, essentially just a number of semicircles around each other with stairs and blocks to create the shape uh, that's so connect to this particular design. Regarding the legs, it wouldn't look good if you made them all straight. It's got to feel as if the walker's actually moving, and it looks more realistic if you do that. And you can't copy each leg because it's going to be different, because each one is going to be at a different angle. So what I do is I just wire frame with a width that is about right for all of the different legs, and then I try to add detail to it that loosely matches the detail and the same height levels that I've done on the other legs. So key things are is the foot's always the same size, the feet uh, should always match, uh, the knee should always be the same size and the cogs at the top should be. But the detail that goes between that, that can vary massively. Just scatter it all around there, try and look at it as mechan mechanical as you possibly can, add in some details that look like wires and sort of um, uh, pulley strings and joints etc. Anything you can to sort of make it look a bit more robotic. And if you can add stairs as I'm doing here, that also means that uh, the fact that it's not quite a straight line and that it's going down in a jaggedy kind of angle becomes less obvious and it's more true to the eye when you look at it from a distance. There you go, that's another foot that's almost completed. Now, when I designed this at at, um, I say design, I just kind of just start building one thing and just build the rest off of the piece that looks okay. And the piece that I always start with on a build is the piece that requires the most detail. And the detail on this design are the legs. So do the leg first on something like an at, -at. If you're building a dragon, the most important feature is the face or the skull. So get the face done first and then the rest of the build scale will come from that. Work with whatever scale you need to to achieve the detail of the build. So for instance with a dragon, it'd be 
pretty bad if you spent hours and hours and hours building the body, the legs, the tail, and everything else. And by the time you got to the head, you realised that if you made it any bigger or smaller, it wouldn't have the detail. In order to get the detail that you wanted, the entire body needs to be made a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. You don't want to do that. So just start with the thing that requires the most detail, and that will tell you the scale for the rest of the build. Now when it comes to this leg, you'll see what I was talking about earlier. Now there are certain pieces of detail that need to be exactly the same. The knees, the upper hip and also the foot. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to have a lot of detail between those points and I'm not going to copy exactly any of the previous legs that I've done before. I'm just going to use the same block choices um, so it's the same colours. And if there are any um, areas with cobblestone wool for example, I'll make sure I put them at the same height. But I'm not copying anything because I can't because none of the other legs are straight like this one. So I'm just loosely copying the theme rather than any particular block pattern. And if you know that, it'll make this kind of design a lot easier to do. notice I'm actually digging into the ground here that's because this is the straightest leg so it's going to be the longest and I decided to use that and uh, turn it into something that uh, will make the build a bit more interesting hope you like it
So that's what I've done with the slightly longer leg. I've knocked a few blocks down into the ground or the snow and I've uh, put a crash snow speeder underneath his foot being trampled by the nasty at -at. And I think it adds a little bit more of a scene to it, uh, makes it a bit more real, gives it a story. And little things like that really add a lot of value to your builds. Rather than it just being a big statue, it starts to look alive. And if we fly over here, we can see the pilots just managed to get away, which is uh, good. This is my friend Edge, whose uh, server that I'm actually building this on at the moment. I'll put some links at the end of the video, because he's got um, an amazing server, and he's hosting a number of plots which people are building in. And this is my plot, and it's my entry for the competition. Um, he also broadcasts on the Playdates channel, which is uh, Microsoft's official Minecraft channel on Xbox. So uh, I'll put some links in there for you as well. Definitely worth a view. Now this foot ends up being just one block higher than it should have been. It wasn't planned, it just, it just happened to be like that. Um, but I turned it to my advantage and just um, left it so it looked like it was just poised a little bit by just allowing the little toes that stick out the bottom of it to just droop down a little bit and then it looks like the foot is just coming up and a bit of the weight is coming off of that foot and it makes it look a little bit more real but it was a pure accident I didn't plan it like that it was just a mistake that I tried to get my way out of by building myself out of it
the legs done. I'm really pleased with those. They've come out really well. Um, if I do say so myself. Um, there were a lot of work and there was a lot of um, touching up that I had to do on them, as you've probably seen from this video. Um, but one thing you can do is do as I did, which is uh, find a image of an animal that's walking. Uh, alternatively, if you're doing any kind of animal or mechanical beast that has four legs, then look at uh, pictures of horses running. Uh, there's loads of them on the internet. And it's one of those classic kind of things that they teach you if you ever take an art class or anything like that. And it will show you the different stages and uh, you'll see that normally there's two legs in motion, two legs which are firmly on the ground, which is roughly what I've got here. And uh, I think it came out fairly well and it looks relatively natural, so I'm quite pleased. Consider it's Minecraft, That's uh, if it looks even remotely normal then uh, you're doing well. So I hope you like it too.
and that's the build completed. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed building this AT-AT. -AT. It's a bit unusual. It's not something I normally go for. I'm normally a medieval fantasy style builder, but I think this came out okay. Let me know if you want me to do more Star Wars style builds. Maybe a TIE Fighter or an X-Wing or anything else you can imagine. Um, let me know. Um, but I'm also open to doing more to medieval tutorials as well. So just let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. There is a dragon tutorial coming along soon. Now that's not going to be another organic. It's too big to do a block by block tutorial. But hopefully it will give you the basic steps that you need to follow if you want to uh, tackle something of that kind of size. Uh, so that will be coming up soon. Thank you very much for all the support and getting me in the comments lately. There have been tons of comments and we've hit um, over 350 subscribers now. So that's fantastic. Um, still working on the dream of a thousand subscribers though so let's see if we can get there in a few months time um, I'm going to put a shout out at the end of the video uh, especially to Rakir and Seven who featured me recently on his YouTube channel and also to the other subscribers who have been particularly vocal with their, uh, their comments and their support in the comment section so uh, you'll see that tagged on the end of the video now. thank you and enjoy